With Backlog you can capture requirements on different goal levels. To capture requirements you can use the new requirement tool widgets. Here you can see the requirement types that are registered for this repository. For example, I can create a new business goal for the application I'm analyzing. Like I want to reduce holiday administration efforts. For this business goal I can now capture lower level goals like actor goals which are used to fulfill this business goal. Like as an employee I want to go on holidays. Another actor goal which is related to the reduction of holiday administration efforts is as a team lead I want to coordinate the absence of my team. And the third actor goal which could be related to this could be as an HR officer I want to track holidays of my employees. The idea of Speclog is that you not only capture your requirements in a list, but that you can arrange them on a map, which is called a workspace in Speclog, which can be used to overview and refine requirements in a better way. Below these actor goals, I can now break down the actor goal of an employee wanting to go on holidays into some individual user stories. Like, as an employee, I want to register my planned holidays. So that everyone concerned gets informed. You can also add user stories by double clicking on the template and dragging the card where you want to have it. As an employee, I want to see pending approvals of holidays I've registered. So that I can follow up with the approval if necessary. Besides seeing all the requirements on the workspace, which you can also better overview with the navigator tool widget where you can zoom in, zoom out, and move around on an infinite workspace. There is also the requirements tool widget where you can see all the requirements which are in the repository as a list and you can also search in this list. If you want to have a requirement which is in your repository mapped on a workspace you can also drag it directly from the list on the workspace even multiple times if you want or you can close it again on the workspace which means that the requirement is still in the repository but this card is removed from the workspace. You can also change the templates and types of requirements which you want to capture with Backlog. For that you can edit the card templates which are stored in the repository. For example, this is the card template for describing user stories. Each requirement can consist of a number of fields. The fields known are actor, goal, value and title which is not shown on any of these cards. For example I could now create an alternative format for user stories to be displayed on the cards. Like in order to as a first step with the value then the actor as a actor I want to. This is an alternative format for user stories which is used to better emphasize the business value of a feature over the feature itself. And I can simply apply these changes and the requirements which are in the repository are mapped on the workspace with the alternative cards. Of course you can 
create multiple different cards or different uh, representations for user story and basically capture user stories with different cards and different types of structures. Also you can introduce new cards. You can also uh, remove cards by marking them as obsolete because if they are already in the repository uh, you don't want to delete the template with already existing requirements. One more thing which is um, worth noting is that actor is a special field uh, which is uh, supported with uh, autocomplete. So if you are listing a new actor here, you can do this by separating and an existing actor with comma and by starting to type you can see a, a list of already defined actors which you can add or you can type any new actor here which can be then used in any other story as a new actor as well.